Iranian President Hassan Rouhani has accused Israel of assassinating Fakhrizadeh in order to create chaos in the Middle East. Rouhani has also vowed that Tehran will avenge Fakhrizadeh's killing. These barbaric assassinations show that our enemies are in stressful weeks, during which they feel their pressure declining, the global situation changing. These few weeks are important to them, so that they make the maximum use of them, so that they can create an uncertain situation in the region. Iran's enemies should know that the people of Iran and officials are braver than to leave this criminal act unanswered. In due time, they will answer for this crime. Fakhrizadeh's uh, wife spoke on Iranian state TV saying that her husband's blood should not be spilled in vain. He was a scientist and at the same time a very kind and affectionate husband who loved his country. I pled to others to continue his path and not to let his blood go in vain. His path was very important for him and his blood was spilled for this path. Students of Iran's Basij paramilitary force have rallied in front of the foreign ministry in Tehran to protest the killing of Fakhrizadeh near the capital. Protesters burnt pictures of U.S. President Donald Trump and U.S. President-elect Joe Biden to show their opposition to any possible talks with either Republicans or Democrats in the United States. He worked for this country for four years. We had a revolution and these scientists worked for it. Our blood is boiling and we will not rest until we have revenge, whether for Fakhri Sadeh or for martyr Qasem Soleimani. We believe that in no decisive response is given what may happen next will definitely be worse than this. These students and our friends who are here expect severe revenge.